read Stormy for the first time. She's uh, five months old, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to breed her with my new buck. Now they're both, they've both never been bred before, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, if it doesn't work out with my new buck, I'll just move her over to um, my seasoned buck, Earl, and see how it goes. Hopefully she'll breed okay. I saved her from one of Lucky's litters. Um, so her mom's a really easy breeder, so hopefully Stormy will be too. So I'm gonna go ahead and move all this stuff out of Arlo's cage, our buck, our new buck. I'll leave the feeder there. All right, let's see how this goes. So Stormy is three quarters silver fox and Arlo is a full silver fox. And they have the same dad, but different moms. So it's okay to breed them as long as they don't come from the same litter. All right, so that didn't go too well. I kind of expected that. I kind of expected that to happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and try her with Earl real quick. And if she doesn't breed today, I'll try to breed her a couple days in a row. I'll keep trying because sometimes the act of breeding gets them in the mood um, and maybe in a cut in a day or two she'll decide to go ahead and breed if not i'll probably just wait a little bit longer to breed her the larger breeds take longer anyways sometimes but let's see how it goes So I'll try again tomorrow, and if she doesn't decide to breed, I'll try the next day, and hopefully I'll get something from her. Um, if not, I'll probably wait a little bit longer, because she is uh, three-quarters fox, so she's on the bigger side, um, and usually the larger breeds take longer to breed, anywhere from six to eight months. She's five months, so I'll probably just give it another month if she doesn't want to breed in the next couple days. Um, but hopefully, hopefully we'll get something out of her soon. Okay, so today's day 25 of Thumper's pregnancy, so I'm going to give her her nesting box. Uh, it's getting really chilly now. Um, it's almost Thanksgiving, so I'm going to make sure I give her plenty of nesting material to keep her babies warm. Um, but she'll be kindling next week, so we're looking forward to that, and we'll have to see how many she has, and um, hopefully they all all turn out very healthy. So I wanted to show you really quick the nesting boxes that we use. Um, you can buy these nesting, nesting boxes at a farm store like Tractor Supply and you know other stores. We bought this one from Tractor Supply. They don't have them very often but um, we've, we bought this one originally and we have a couple um, but they're kind of small uh, so now Alex just makes our nesting boxes out of plywood and we made them a little bigger. I don't know the exact measurements or anything, but you can see the difference. 
he made them a little bigger that way um, with our does, our, sil our large silver fox does, um, they have more space to move around and they're not trampling their babies. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her this nest bo nesting box. I already put shavings in here, a good amount. And I'm gonna put some hay in there. Not too much, cause she's gonna do it. She's gonna put it together the way she wants it to be anyways. Um, and if, in a few days, she'll start pulling fur and getting it ready. And I'll give her some extra hay on the side as well to start preparing for her box. So it's, it's very simple. It takes two seconds to give them their nesting box. I just put some shavings in, some hay, and give it to her. And she's all set and ready to have her babies. Just give her some extra hay. And every day that you check on her to feed her, just give her a little extra hay so she can keep building her nesting box the way she wants it. And she'll be all set for the day she's ready to kindle. So she's gonna eat quite a bit of this. She, she tends to eat quite a bit of hay. So I'm just gonna give her plenty to eat and plenty to use in her box. What do you think, Thumper? And like I mentioned before, she's already halfway, over halfway through her pregnancy, so I've been giving her unlimited feed at this point, and she won't eat as much of it right before she kindles, um, but she'll, she'll need it, especially after she kindles for the extra nutrition when she's nursing her babies. All right, so Thumper is all set, and now I'm gonna take care of the rest of the rabbits. So it's not too bad in there. You just wanna make sure you check it a lot and keep it from getting too damp because when they're at this age, they'll definitely soil their box. Now I'm just gonna put a thin layer of hay on the bottom. I'm not gonna worry about the shavings at this point. All right. Watch out. All right, I'm gonna give them plenty of hay to munch on. And it looks like they tipped over their food container a little bit. But I'm gonna give them, fill up their container of feed. Because there's nine rabbits in here plus mom. I'm actually gonna try to adjust this feeder it's better if the feeder is touching the bottom of the cage rather than hanging because sometimes when they eat, the, the feeder will kind of tip towards them and then feed will spill all over the ground, which is what happened last night. So I'm gonna try to move it down a notch. There, that's better. So this litter's been doing really well. I still have eight kits and mom's taking really good care of them. So pretty soon, it's been kind of a mild November so far. We've had a few days in the 60s and 70s, which has been unheard of in our area. Um, but it's cold today and it's been cooling down at night. So eventually I'm going to have to um, put these bottles away because they're going to freeze on them and they won't be able to use them. Um, right now, 
we're not getting below freezing temperatures. Um, we have a couple times in the middle of the night, but it always comes up uh, during the day. So I've still been able to use these, um, but I will have to switch over to giving them water bowls um, twice a day. Now, I originally bought plastic water bowls, but they would chew on them, and I didn't like them chewing on the, you know, the chemicals from the plastic. So um, I use metal stainless steel uh, bowls, and those work really well for them. So, um, but I, I'll keep an eye on them and um, make sure they have plenty of water. Um, in the winter time, I like to mix, you know, apple cider vinegar in there, and I'll give them some lukewarm water so it doesn't freeze too quickly um, and they do they do very well I will also once I take these down and we start getting snow which we're, we're which they're calling for snow um, the middle of this week a few flurries so we'll see um, but we'll take these down start giving them the water bowls and then I'll have to take a um, piece of plywood and you I mean you don't have to do this but we do it to keep the wind off of them um, we'll put a piece of plywood up over this section of the hutch. Um, that way they have some extra protection against the wind. Um, other than the nesting box, because only so many of them can fit in that nesting box. And, um, to put two in there, that just, that's just a bit much. So we put the plywood up and that gives them some extra protection, but rabbits do extremely well in the winter. So you really you want to keep an eye out on how they're doing, but they do a lot better in the winter in the cold temperatures than they do in the summertime. So in the time that I cleaned out their nesting box and gave them food, Thumper already started putting her nest box together. I put it in the corner. I always put their nesting boxes right in the corner. She already moved it. And she already started digging towards the back with her hay, which she usually does that. She'll go in the back, she'll kind of start making it towards the back, and she'll pur pull fur, and then there's usually more material up here. So she already started making it. Good mama. Good mama. Yeah. Good mama. All right, so I'm gonna get them water and they'll be all set for the day. All right, so these are my grow outs. I had um, grow outs in this hutch over here, but we recently processed them. So that's empty and ready for our next litter once I wean them from mom, Lucky's litter. Um, but these are all girls. And I have five in here. So that'll be my next batch of meat rabbits. And of course I give my grow outs unlimited feed. And I don't give them as much hay as I'd like to because most of it just ends up on the ground. Probably because I give them so much pellets. And I keep these rain barrel buckets out here. And uh, I've been giving my rabbits rainwater. And I'll occasionally put uh, some apple cider vinegar in here as well for my grow outs. So I usually have a lot of rabbits in a one hutch at a time with my grow out cages. Right now I only have five in here. Um, sometimes I have eight or nine. 
Um, I've had 10 in one before and they do fine. Now, one way to tell if you're putting enough, giving them enough water is, so these hold a half a gallon of water. And if you come out here daily and it's completely empty, then you should probably have two of these um, available to them. And if you're coming out and it's just, you know, there's still a little bit left, then you're fine with just giving them one of these to drink off of. Um, but that's kind of how I tell, how I gauge on whether or not they need two water bottles or not. It really just depends on what you're seeing when you come out here to take care of them. If it's completely empty, give them two. If there's still some left, just give them one, uh, which is the case for right now. They, there's usually a little bit left still every day when I take care of them. So I just give them one and it works out great. And same with Lucky's uh, kits over there. There's eight kits and plus Lucky. So there's nine rabbits in there right now. And they're all functioning off of one water bottle and it works out just fine. It's never empty. Um, but like I said, if it was empty when I checked on them every day, then I'd give them a second one. So with Earl, he hasn't been eating much hay for the last few months. And I usually just give him a cup of feed a day and a little bit of hay, but he never eats the hay, but he always eats the feed. So what I started doing was giving him a half a cup of feed and more hay. And he's actually been eating the hay now. So, you know, I'm still learning this whole process as well. Um, but that's one thing I've learned recently is, you know, give them less feed and more hay. It's better, it's better for them and you don't use as much feed. Um, anyway, just like with my grow outs over there, I noticed they waste their hay a lot and it ends up on the ground. Well, it's probably because I give them unlimited feed. Um, so I just stopped giving them as much hay. Um, but in the future, I wanna look into just, it would be nice to just produce my own hay and be able to feed them just strictly hay. Um, but we're not really at that point yet. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Um, but with Earl specifically, you know, each rabbit's different and he seems to do a lot better when I give him more hay as opposed to feed. And he's a big boy, so I gotta keep track of his weight and make sure he doesn't get too heavy. So I definitely make sure that I don't, he doesn't, he never gets unlimited feed. He gets, he has a strict diet that I monitor because I don't want him to get too big and Bucks can get kind of lazy if they get too fat, so we don't want that. He's our, he's our uh, main buck that we use, and um, he's been doing really well, so we don't want to ruin that. I like to give my rabbit sticks to chew on. It's just an easy little toy for him. With Earl, he also doesn't drink as much water as I'd like him to drink. Um, so I put apple cider vinegar in his water um, a lot, quite often. I don't do it every day, but um, out of all my rabbits, I give him apple cider vinegar um, the most because it just kind of helps promote him the taste kind of helps him want to drink more. So, um, so each rabbit's different, you know, Thumper over there, I can give her unlimited feed and she barely touches it. She'd much rather have the hay. Um, whereas Earl, I'll give him unlimited feed, which I don't, but if I were to give him unlimited feed, he'd eat all the feed, but he wouldn't eat any hay. So he prefers the feed over the hay. So each rabbit's kind of different and you got to keep an eye on on your rabbits and their specific needs. Um, but with him, I've definitely cut back on the feed quite a bit and gave, started giving him more hay and he's been eating a lot more of it. So it's all a learning process. All right, so I tried to have Arlo breed Stormy and that didn't really work out, but I kind of expected that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give him his block of wood back, his stick, make sure he has some feed and plenty of water, which he does. And he's all set for the day. And 
and Stormy over here and make sure she has some hay. She always eats her hay. She, she loves her hay. And, you know, I don't feed her unlimited or anything. I just give her a cup a day. But I make sure I give her plenty of hay because she's still a growing, she's still growing a little bit. Um, so I'll make sure she has plenty of stuff. And sometimes I'll give them a lot, and if I come out the next day and there's a lot still there, I just won't give them any hay that day. just depends on what they have, what they left. So she's all set. Her water's fine. She'll need more, more water tomorrow, but for, for right now, she's fine. That'll last her until I come out here next. All right, so anyways, those were the things I had to do today on my homestead taking care of Thumper, making sure she had a nesting box because she's going to kindle soon, so I'll make sure you see that. And Lucky over there, she has her babies and she's taking care of them wonderfully, so everything's going well. Um, it's definitely getting chillier, so we'll have to start preparing for that with putting up the boards up on their hutches and um, preparing to start giving them. Thumper's over there making her box, she's all excited. Um, and preparing to start giving them bowls of water twice a day. So um, we'll start, we're going to start preparing for winter um, in the coming, the coming days. And, but anyways, in the meantime, guys, um, stay tuned for more and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.